better uh, so that they don't have flare-ups and, um, you know, also gives them a lot of information about maybe how to communicate with their physician on different technologies that may be able to help them that their physician may not be aware of. So uh, a number of different things in the book to help people understand how they can be healthier, um, stress less, and live longer. So why did you decide to write this book? So the biggest reason was, uh, you know, everybody kept asking me these questions, and I thought, all right, let me write a book for the average person so that they could keep up to date with what's happening in healthcare and medicine and incorporate it into their life in a way that isn't necessarily invasive, right? They don't have to do a whole lot. Some of these wearables just do the stuff and uh, the data is right there. And when you want to look at it, you can look at it and see how things are uh, changing in your health and wellness on a daily basis. We have got a great guest with us today, The Future You, How Artificial Intelligence Can Help You Get Healthier, Stress Less, and Live Longer. Harry joins us today here on our big broadcast. So what has been the feedback you've gotten on this book so far from folks? Well, there's been uh, so far like 66 five-star reviews on Amazon, so I'm pretty happy about that. That's and, awesome. Uh, but the best part is when I get a note from someone that says, I incorporated a change into my life and I saw how it made a big difference. And I feel like, well, there's not much more than I can do than actually like making a difference in someone's <laughs> life by writing the book. That's so, awesome. So, uh, you know, I wish it were, you know, 10 million people because then it would, you know, we might actually like move the, move the needle in the right direction. But, you know, one at a time trying to, you know, touch as many people as I can. That's awesome. So IQ Al Rizzoli, uh, do you have any um, questions here for yes. Harry? What, what, could you give me an example of an item that I could use to better my life? Just an example. Oh, you know, um, I'll give you a few examples. It's just a wireless scale, right? Uh, yeah. you, you and I both know that weight is a huge uh, influencer of all sorts of disease states, right? Just from your joints to anything else, to diabetes. And so just being able to keep an, you know, an eye on that from, a, from the line that you can see that if it's going up, maybe you need to modify something or a wireless blood pressure cuff so that instead of finding out your blood pressure is high once you get to the doctor that one time in a year, you can actually see it moving um, and you might be able to affect it going down. Really? That's pretty amazing. We have, we have got a great guest with us today. Harry joins us here on our big program. So with, with you putting this book together, what was your writing process like, Harry? Oh, that, that's sort of helter skelter, right? So the, the, I typically would get up at like 2 o'clock in the morning and write between 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning when nobody was around to bother me. And then I would collapse about 4.30 in the morning and <laughs> wake up at a normal hour and go back to work for my, for my day job. So you were under stress. <laughs> well, you know, when you got to get something done, the best time to get it done is when nobody's around to bother you. That I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%. After midnight is the best time. So, uh, and I would wake up in the middle of the night wide awake, like some, something in my body was telling me that it's time to get this done. And so I could very clearly think and write and, and get, get the work done and get it out. Do you, do you have a medical background? Yeah, uh, my background has been in healthcare and life sciences for the past 25 years. So I've been, you know, I've uh, worked in areas like pathology and, uh, I was involved in the company that did the Human Genome Project. Um, you know, I've uh, run a strategy consulting firm where we helped companies make strategic decisions about their technology direction uh, and what they should uh, release next or who they should buy, um, and started multiple companies uh, with ideas that sort of came from scratch about what the world needed. In your estimation, which country on today, let's say in, in the Western world, is producing the best products for medical uh, tests? 
So we, I would say that the United States still is probably top of the leaderboard, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't discount. There's a lot of great technology coming out of Israel right now. Um, and uh, certain parts of Western Europe, but I would say that if you said quantity wise and quality wise right now, the cutting edge is coming from here and places like Israel. Yeah, that's what I was studying. In fact, uh, in Israel, the upstart, con the new start companies, they are doing unbelievable uh, tests and they're producing beautiful machinery. Well, and if you look at what we're doing using artificial intelligence and machine learning, that is, that's making a huge difference in uh, how we diagnose somebody. Um, there are certain, you know, technologies now from a sequencing perspective that let us figure out the right drug to give the right cancer patient. Yes. Uh, as opposed to guessing, we can actually use a targeted missile that might have much more of a, a profound effect on that patient than just uh, trial and error. That's true, yes. Uh, it, it's funny, I mean, I'm not, I read these things out of curiosity, not because I'm interested in it for, no, but it's really very interesting uh, what they're producing uh, in the West to better life of a human being for, in medicine, in, uh, sci in every field of, uh, uh, scientific efforts, it's really amazing. Yeah, and, and we're, we're starting to get to the point that, uh, you know, really the, the doctor that's using the technology will be the one you want versus the doctor that's not using the technology. Correct, that's also true, yes. In fact, because of COVID, my communication with my doctor is always on the internet, by text, literally. Uh, we don't see each other, we just talk to each other. And yet, they're, what I give them information, they're coming with, with results which are really good, although we're not meeting. Well, now imagine if you had a wireless blood pressure cuff and your scale and a glucose monitor or any other device that you need, and he is getting the live data feed from your measurements. Uh, on top of being able to communicate with him, so now he can see inside of you without being near you. Just amazing. In fact, it's, it's happening. I, I have a monitor, and the monitor is connected directly to the doctor, to the surgery, 24 hours a day. Well, there you go. So you're, yeah, yeah. you're, or, you're already being, being part of this, but imagine there's a few other devices where they can do a general checkup without having to see you directly. Now, there's a lot of cases where you should see your doctor face to face. Yeah. But there are many cases where they can monitor you 24 hours a day, seven days a week through these devices and only call you when they see that something is out of line. That's exactly what's happened with my case. Literally, they told me they will only communicate with me if they see an abnormality. So perfect. I mean, yeah. what, what's well, a better way to stay healthy? <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. That's exactly what I'm telling you. What's happening? I agree with you. It's an yeah. amazing thing. Um, even blood pressure, I had a machine which I bought online just to monitor it myself, not with the doctor. And after three months of monitoring, I said I had enough. I made a complete record on a daily basis and figured out which day I was more stressed, why I was more stressed. And really, it worked well. I had excellent information coming out of it. Yeah. So yeah. now if you just do it once a month, yeah. just to, to check on it, right? Yeah. yeah. That might be a way to just maintain Monitoring. it at yeah. the right yeah. level. I shall do that. In fact, I put it away. I've got to take it back again now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing uh, what technology has allowed us to be able to do there, Harry. Oh yeah, and it's this is the this is why I also wrote the book. Is this technology is available today? It's working today, and if the cost is coming down, and it's becoming more accessible to more people. So I wanted people to learn about this so that they can think about how this can really affect their life in a profound way. It, it yeah. is 
it's a bloody it, good idea, honestly. Yeah. No, because not many people realize how this technology is it's not invasive. It's literally not invasive. All you have to do is put it on your body and all the information will go to the doctor directly without any injections or anything. Amazing. Yeah, and if you, you know, even if you're somebody like you have a, a history of diabetes in your family, you can get a diabetes monitor that every time you eat something, you just scan your phone over it and it will give you a reading and it will tell you which foods spike your uh, glucose levels and which foods do not so that you can adjust your diet accordingly. Why, do, why would you want to, you know, become diabetic if you can have the tools to manage yourself and avoid being diabetic? No, you're right, 100%. And it's not expensive, honestly. They're not expensive machinery. No, 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 no. Now, now with, with everything that, you know, is being incorporated into your phone or a wearable or something like that, the prices are coming down over time. Um, I think now you can get a wireless blood pressure cuff for like $35. Well, it's worth it. Definitely it's worth it. Because the cost of going to a doctor costs you more than $250. <laughs> well, or the or imagine being on medication for the rest of your life. If you can actually utilize this to manage yourself better, yeah, maybe you don't need that medication for the rest of your life. Correct. Yeah. No, no. The, the technology, as you said, it's available. It's not expensive, and it can really help. There's no question. You're right. Yeah, and and this was the whole point of the book: is making people aware of different apps, different technologies different conversations they can have with their physician um, and what is happening out there so that they are, you know, knowledge is power. So yes. if, if they can build this knowledge into their, you know, into their data set, right, of what they know, it makes them that much better at staying healthy because they understand what they can incorporate into their life that can make a big difference. How long did it take you to finish the book? From beginning well, to actually, end. you know, COVID was very helpful with this because <laughs> I'm sure no two travel, years of it. <laughs> we were, we, you know, I was able to get that book done in about a year. How many pages? It's only like 225 pages, 250 no, pages. Yeah, not very it's long. very manageable. Very manageable. No, no. I mean, you can get. I mean, if you really like sat down, you could get through it in like three or four hours. Wow. wow. Doctor, I, I'm sorry, I didn't say doctor, but you are a doctor in a way. <laughs> I wish you the best, honestly. I wish you the best. It's a fantastic thank you, thank idea. You. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I've been in this industry long enough to, to understand how this technology is applied. Yeah. Um, you know what's happening, and and I and you know my day job is actually investing in these technologies on a regular basis. So I'm constantly looking at what is happening and where the market is going. I'm sure you're investing in a very, very lucrative business. This is a fantastic business to invest in, honestly. Yeah, well, we try, we try and make the best decisions we can, but uh, so far, so good. Uh, but, the, but the market is growing like crazy, and I think that, you know, pretty soon... So think about it this way. Would you drive a car without a dashboard? No. Why would you drive this thing that we drive around every day, our bodies, without knowing what's going on so that you can get better performance out of it. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Well, you are amazing, Harry. So what is next for you as an author? Uh, well, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from writing books because this is my third one. Um, I'm, you know, I'm spending time investing and also producing my own podcast where I talk to CEOs of different companies producing different products that are, you know, a lot of fun to talk to and I always learn something. Um, so between the investing aspect and then running my own podcast, that, that's enough to keep me busy at least for a little while. Well, you are fantastic, my man. It has uh, definitely been a just amazing, amazing time here. Um, I guess before we let everybody go, um, IQL Rizzoli, how do we get your books and everything, my friend? Well, my books are not as important as his books. 
my books are very informative, but informative on religious things, not like yours. Yours are much more helpful to the betterment of humanity. <laughs> but anybody who wants to go to my website, all you have to do is Google my name, Al Rasuli, A L R A double S double O L I. Back to you, sir. So, Harry, uh, how do we get your book, my friend? Uh, well, Amazon is probably the easiest. Uh, you know, or you can go to my website, www.glorikian.com.